Welcome back. Break out the balloons. It's time to have a little fun. Chemical Kim is here to show us a couple cool science tricks. We're playing with balloons. That's right, Catherine. I mean, I feel like it's a party today with all these <laughs> balloons. I um, like it. Yeah, this, this is really, really fun and simple science. I'm going to show you a few things that kids can do at home with balloons and learn a little science in the process. And okay. just, you know, maybe do some science. Looks like they're doing some science tricks or, or magic tricks, but it's science, right? The first one, I did this actually the first segment on Take 5 I ever um, was on. On, on, you know, on the show, was just inflating a gas in a balloon. Mm -hmm. And before I explain that, I'll just let you do it. Just lift the balloon right up, and there's a oh, powder in there. Do you remember yes. this? Yes, this is baking soda, exactly. right? Exactly. And do you remember what, what the liquid was? No. Vinegar. Oh, so, yes, yes, yes. I thought you meant what right. it created. I was like, a compound <laughs> chemical reaction. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So we have sodium bicarbonate and, you know, acetic acid that make carbon dioxide the gas. And it's like magically inflate the balloon. Don't wow. you love it? Great. You know, who needs so, a helium machine? Exactly, right here. <laughs> and then we can suck it. Well, we don't want to suck in too much CO2, but we can have fun with that. All right, so real simple. Baking soda in the balloon, vinegar in the bottle, and you, you like, self-inflate. The next trick, it does take a little bit of time, but what I've done is I put hot water. So, of course, you want assistance. You don't want to be really careful with handling hot water. And I dump the hot water out. I have to dump it all out, but now what's inside there, not just with the hot water, Catherine, but gas, right? Okay. And warm gas, right? Okay. Warm air. And then by putting it into an ice bath, what are you doing to the gas inside the bottle? What's, what, what's happening to the gas <gasps> inside the bottle? Oh, I don't know what's happening, but it's sucking your balloon in. Right, it's sucking the balloon in because the gas inside, is it getting warmer or colder? Um, it's cooling. It's cooling, and as gas, as the temperature decreases, the volume decreases. A little gas law for uh -huh. you, and so that decrease in volume causes the balloon to go right into the right into that bottle. Oh, Isn't that cool! I How love cool that. It. How it's cool really that? neat. So you know, really, really fun science trick like that. Another little science trick, and I love this, is you pass your friend a two-liter bottle, and you say, mm -hmm. "Okay, try and blow that balloon up inside okay. that plastic bottle." Lower, <laughs> <Lord>, Catherine. <laughs> When you get your certified science, you know, certificate, this is what you can do, right? <laughs> what in the world? Because scientists have so much more air in their lungs, right? It's hot air, let okay, me well, tell you. Okay, science trick is air pressure, right? There's air inside there which causes pressure. Mm -hmm. What I've done is I've concealed a little hole. So oh. I put a little hole in the balloon that pushes the air out. To, you know, then the absence of air is the absence of air pressure allows the balloon to inflate. Really yeah, fun little tricker. Is so tricky. Okay, <laughs> so now the next is really, really fun, and this is piercing a balloon. Okay. Mm -hmm. And balloons are made out of latex, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Which is a really large compound called polymer. But what I want you to do is take a skewer and just try and push it through. Just push it right through, Catherine. I just. Oh, there Jesus. you go. Isn't that fun? Do another one. That I was my so last fun. nerve ending. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Well, here. I <laughs> You're not going to have any balloons left. That's all right. We better get to the okay, experiment. Okay, so here I'm going to try it, right? You put some okay. vegetable oil on that. Oh, right? you saw oh, I did that. I told you. <laughs> there you Sorry. go. No, I love that, Catherine, because you're so smart with science. Look at that. Yes. No popping. And you're right. What I did is I used a similar compound that's a latex, a carbon-hydrogen oxygen combination, and I picked what spot? The meaty part. The meaty part, right? Because yeah. there's meat right there on that balloon. Yes. No, you're right. But it's, it's actually most latex there. Yes. So I'm not tearing it like I do when I pop. Yes. Right? So I'm like allowing those molecules to kind of spread around. What Here, does the ahead. vegetable oil do for you? Do right. I need it? Because I was going to try it without Try it without the vegetable oil. Go ahead. I can hardly even get in, let alone. <laughs> You did it. Okay. So, you know, when you have a, a you know, smaller, like what you'd say, meaty yeah. spot, you're allowing the molecules to kind of spread around the skewer, okay, because there's, there's definitely, they're elastic, and they can move and stuff like that. The vegetable oil does help in sort of sealing that. Got it. Okay, sealing that. Yeah, because mine's letting air out. Right. Okay, now this last is something that you, you definitely go have to, right. We're going to, static, you know, you, you rub this or you use a piece of wool. Well, I have, you know, very much radioactive hair, so it doesn't work <laughs> on my hair. But if I take a piece of wool and I, you know, rub really hard, yeah. I'm putting electrons on the balloon. Yes. And you can take, you know, little styrofoam balls, and what will happen is that there will be an attraction to that. <laughs> Do you want my hand? And on the hair, Got a lot exactly, of hair. and you make Spray. your hair move. 
And what I would like for kids to try at home, say I have, you know, one star. Yeah, bowl. it'll pick it up. It'll create a small stream of water out of the sink. And I won't tell you what will happen, but take that balloon with electrons on it and see what happens with the water. Very there's a fun. movie. Very, very there's fun. a movie that has to do with what happens to the water. Air and water. Oh yeah, bending. bending. You can find more activities from Chemical Kim on our website, wzzm13.com, under Take Five Links.